If you guys like couples gaming channels, then click the link down below. We play Sims over there too, and we would love to see you there. Hey guys, it's Fantasia, and welcome to a video just kind of talking about the new update and what it is going to do to our game. So I wanted to talk about this because I don't know why I keep thinking about it, but if you guys don't know, there is a new update that was supposed to come out in October, but now it is pushed to November, which I'm totally fine with. I feel like there's a lot to the update we haven't seen yet. We've seen the terrain tool, which, oh my gosh, looks amazing. And then we saw a new career, which is like a fashion career, which also looks amazing. So um, there's probably much more to it. And with that, because I guess because it's such a big update, I don't really know. Something has changed in the game and pretty much when the update comes out, all of our script mods will not work. And I'm going to read this to you here. So this could probably make a lot of us frustrated, but the modding community is always amazing. And I'm sure they're going to find a way to, you know, update their mods as quickly as possible. It's going to be different than just a regular update. They're going to, I, I'm assuming they're going to, you know, they're going to have to change things with their mods because basically here, um, SimGuru Mod Squad posted, um, hi everyone. I want to give you a heads up that in the upcoming release, um, in an upcoming release, I should say, we will be upgrading the version of Python used by the game. So we are currently, or we currently use Python 3.3.5 and we'll be moving to Python 3.5. 7.0. Um, once this change is released, all compiled script mods will completely stop working. So they will all not work. So if you guys go into your mods folder, um, the mods that say script instead of package, those are not going to work. So just to kind of list some mods here and make sure them on the screen, mods that will not be working is MC Command Center, UI Extension Mod, um, I'm pretty sure Controllable Pets Mod will not work, um, a bunch of Kawaii Stacy's mods, and that kind of sucks because I love her mods, <laughs> um, and then obviously a bunch of Little Miss Sam's mods, um, Sacrifici Sacrificial's mods like Road to Fame, I don't think, yeah, that's definitely not working. <laughs> And then, like, I, I don't use Wicked Whims, but that's not going to work. So, um, everything is going to break. And we are used to mods breaking with updates, but this is something different because, obviously, the Python is being upgraded. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm not, like, a modder or anything, so I don't know what the modders have to do in terms of, like, coding and stuff. But... I, I guess it's going to be a different process now and things are going to be different when it comes to script mods. So I don't know if it'll take a little while for um, the modders to update their mods or maybe sometimes they could run into issues and maybe some mods will not be able to be updated. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Crossing our fingers. <laughs> so yeah, um, it kind of sucks, but um, I did see some modders say that this may be a good thing in the future. For now, it'll be like a headache when they all have to like update it and stuff like that and figure things out. But in the future, it could be a good thing. So yeah, um, basically it says we know this will have impact on your script mods authoring a pipeline. So I wanted to provide notice in advance so you can be ready for the change when it arrives. So I think it's cool that they're letting everyone know because, you know, I feel like the modders, they take so much time and it's just nice for them to have a heads up about this. So yeah, see turbo driver, it's not their, their mods aren't going to work. Um, so, um, the, they said short term, this is going to be such a headache, headache, but I think in the long run, this is going to be good news. So yeah, <laughs> it could end up being good news. I don't know. Um, so little Miss Sam, her mods aren't going to work and that's sad. So, um, yeah, just kind of like a little rundown, you guys, when the update comes out, um, it would really suck if some of your games mess up. So please make sure to have your mods disabled. Usually the game does that automatically, but if yours does not, go into your game settings and disable your mods before you update. Um, if you want, just totally take your mods folder out, but you don't have to, you could just disable your mods. Or if, if you know what's going to be broken and stuff like that, completely go through. I have mine in folders so I can easily go through and get rid of all the script mods so that I'm not, you know, my game's not broken and all this crazy stuff going on because it's not a fun time if your game is like corrupted and like some some of your saves are broken oh my god that would be so sad 
So yes, just make sure to take all your script mods out and then heading over to Datterpool, which is the creator of MC Command Center. Basically, they have stated here, many have started reading about EA's um, upcoming Python upgrade. Just like EA said, this will break all script mods. That definitely includes MCCC. Um, when it happens, all I can do is get everything recomplied in 3.7.0. I'm not sure what kind of language differences there are between the current version, da da da. I don't know if anything else really major will happen. I know. Okay. So basically they just don't know. <laughs> we don't know what this is going to mean. The modders are just going to figure it out when the update comes. It's not here yet. So they just have to wait and figure out what they have to change and everything like that once the update is here. So yeah, I think that's all we have to worry about. Um, I'm pretty sure CC should all be fine. Um, I saw the same gurus did say that all CC should be fine. So you can use all your criticism stuff, build and buy CC, all of that should be a okay. Um, but yeah, anything that has script in it, make sure you remove that you guys. And obviously if there's a package file that goes with it, make sure to remove that as well. Um, so yeah. I don't know what I'm going to, okay, comment below, like, is this going to be fine for you? Or are you going to have a hard time playing The Sims until all you, the mods have been upgraded with the new Python? Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do for two of my Let's Plays. I have the Foster Home Challenge, which obviously needs the mods. So all I can kind of think of is pre-record episodes towards the end of the month, just in case. I don't know if Little Miss Sam runs into any issues. I want to make sure I have more episodes of that series and then cross your fingers that that mod ends up being updated with the new version of Python, whatever. <laughs> I didn't even know what Python was until this whole thing because like I said, I'm not a modder, so I didn't even know. Um, and then for single dad life, I use Road to Fame. That is not like necessary, but it kind of is at the same time. So I can work my way around it, but I'm sure Sacrificial will get that updated. Um, it's such a big mod. So many people use it. I'm sure uh, he will get that updated. I just don't know how long it'll take or anything like that. So I'll probably pre-record that too, just in case. And then actually a new series that I'm planning with the 16 and pregnant family, there's going to be a brand new series with them because it's based on Dakota and Skylar. I want to let you guys know this just so you know. <laughs> I don't know what to do now because originally that would actually probably start this month or next month, like towards the end of the month or beginning of next month. And now... I'm going to use a mod for that series and I don't know what to do because the mod's going to be broken. <laughs> there is something I can do where I don't need the mod, but it would just be so much better with it. So yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions of like certain mods that you're not sure if they'll break or not, then definitely comment down below. Let me know. Comment below if there's like a certain mod that you're going to be really upset about not having if it takes a while to update. I'm assuming there honestly could end up being some mods that are literally updated the day of or the day after because some modders, they're just geniuses, okay? There, There's going to be some creators out there who are just like, bam, and like they get their mod working with the new version and everything of Python, obviously. Yeah, you never know. So yeah, hopefully this is okay and this doesn't mess up the future for script mods because I think I read that somewhere else too. Like something about does this affect like future of script mods? Will certain mods not be able to be created because of this? We don't know. I don't even know what is in this update, like why they needed to upgrade it but they did. <laughs> so I guess it could be a good thing. I don't know. Just like, you know, um, scr scr I, I feel like I'm going to say this creator's name wrong, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, they, they said it could be really good news. I don't know. Um, I feel, I, I feel like people are like kind of stressed out about it, but this person says, I'm not a moder modder either. Literally, like, what is my English? <laughs> but this is really worrying me. Um, so yeah, yeah. Basically, this wouldn't have been a big deal to me before, like, a few months back. But now I... I rely on a lot of mods for certain things I do in my gameplay. There's a lot of things not in the game yet that... I really like to play with when it comes to mods, you know? So yeah, I mean, it could, it could suck, but it says, do not panic yet, folks. EA notifies us, notified us in advance because they're 
we're bound to be unforeseen issues. We have to give them time to digest what those issues are and determine what their best response to the issue is. Okay, they're being proactive for a reason. That's awesome. Um, and then also, um, I've been cutting back on script mod usage. Uh, so honestly, you guys, the thing I can recommend to, to you the most is to try to cut back on your script mod uses uses <laughs> usage this month to kind of get used to playing with less script mods. Obviously, there's those mods that you don't want to give up until you have to, but like if you have some mods in your game that you don't really use often, you're like, eh, I don't really need this right now, then totally just scrap it. I think Spring Sims is playing with no mods for this whole month, which is crazy. So if you guys want to do that, comment below how that kind of goes for you, if it's like weird. But anyways, I'm rambling on. I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about this and comment below your thoughts and stuff like that. And like I said, comment below if there's like certain mods that you're like worried about not being able to use and stuff. For me, it's Road to Fame, uh, MC Command Center, UI Extension, and the foster family mod obviously because i have a whole let's play based on that so yeah <laughs> anyways i'm gonna wrap this up here before i just like go on a whole tangent like what am i doing um but yeah you guys what do you guys think about this comment below also what what, what else do you think is in the update i'm so curious um so i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys are all having an amazing amazing day and don't forget to leave some positivity down below i love you guys also so much and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can't get from you